you. Now to a story we've been following all week. A Florida-based nonprofit is offering a large reward for information surrounding four horses reported stolen here in South Florida. We first told you about three horses that went missing from Okeechobee County and another in St. Lucie County. All the same night, our Rachel Perry sat down with the founder of the nonprofit who explains why farm owners need to be extra cautious during the holiday season. With four horses being reported stolen exactly a week ago from tonight, officials have been warning people to be on high alert. Now, this founder of this nonprofit tells me that's especially important as we enter the holiday season. Let me be really clear that people aren't stealing horses to be used as pets. That's Richard Kudo, the founder of Animal Recovery Mission, or ARM, a not-for-profit dedicated to eliminating extreme animal cruelty. ARM quickly caught wind of the recent reports of several horses being stolen in both Okeechobee County and St. Lucie County, now offering a $25,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for the thefts. Really, the only possibility is that horse is being stolen to be used as meat to fuel the, the horse meat trade. Kudo explains the horse meat trade has been and continues to be a widespread issue in Florida. People are buying that meat um, specifically for medical purposes. But Florida law states it's a felony to kill a horse and the state has strict laws for selling and possessing horse meat. Most of the horse meat that's consumed in the state of Florida is around the holiday season. Warning owners to secure their property. Number one deterrent is a barking dog. It doesn't have to be a violent dog. It needs to be a barking dog. That's the number one deterrent. Number two, security lighting. Number three is um, security cameras. Anyone with information is asked to contact law enforcement. Animal Recovery Mission also has a crime report hotline. All that information will be on our website. For WPBF 25 News, I'm Rachel Perry.